Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture, I am going to talk about if you want to choose DevOps career in 2024, what and all tools you can learn or how you can progress your DevOps career. That's what we are going to discuss. To demonstrate this concept, I am going to take four scenarios. Let's take that you are a fresher or you have a career gap. or you are someone who is moving from non-IT to IT or you are already in the IT but you want to move on to the DevOps or you want to choose your DevOps career. So these are the four scenarios I am going to take to demonstrate this one. First let's start with Fresher. If you are a Fresher, I don't think so you need to learn DevOps, only cloud would be sufficient. However, if you learn cloud alone, you might have very less opportunities. To increase your opportunities, what you can do is you can combine your cloud knowledge with any one of the scripting. Okay, cloud nothing but it can be AWS or Azure. Okay, you can choose any one GCP. I don't recommend at this moment. Along with any one of this cloud, you can go with the cell scripting or Bash or python okay so these are the things if you are choosing azure as your cloud i would prefer to uh, go with the powershell okay so if you are having a azure as your cloud so azure with powershell or azure with the bash or azure with the python i would recommend if it is aws you blindly go with the aws with python or aws with shell or bash so this is what i would recommend if you are a fresher if you still have confusion, I'm going to give one link in the description of this video. You can fill out your details over there if you need a counseling for your career guidance. I'm going to help you that, okay, apart from this, if there is any other technologies you can pursue to enter into the IT market, I can guide you. Okay, so that is all about the fresher. Now let's take that career gap. So what is the difference between the fresher and career gap? Let's take that fresher could be a uh, college passed out either this year or last year. Okay, so career gap nothing but who is having more than three or four years of experience. Nothing but you have completed your education. After that, you couldn't get a job and you have been trying to learn something and uh, uh, get into the IT. In such cases, you are having more than three years of career gap. Then I would recommend you to go with the AWS plus DevOps okay apart from this better to learn any one of the scripting language either it could be Python or shell or bash okay so these are the technology stacks you need to learn okay AWS DevOps and any one of the scripting so that you will your profile will have more weightage added the, this one better to do a certification okay if you do the certification your resume value or weightage will be more okay if you ask me that okay does it really need it honestly if you want to learn the technology it doesn't require only it is for uh, better opportunities or to get more interview calls okay so this is how you can design instead of aws you can change it to the azure also okay azure plus devops again don't confuse with the aws plus devops means okay in aws there are few services called code pipeline code build code deploy so those are aws native devops tools i am not preferring that one okay don't go with that one you go with the open source devops tools like git jenkins gitlab uh, sonar cube docker kubernetes this i am talking about okay similar way with the same you can combine with the azure devops you can go with the azure and uh, even azure also have some native uh, devops tools okay even those have little bit of prominence comparatively aws uh, devops tools so you can go with the azure cloud plus azure devops tools and few tools from the devops category in devops that is terraform plus kubernetes we can call it eks or aks in azure so you can go with the Azure plus DevOps and uh, you can learn any one of the scripting. I would uh, strongly recommend go with the Python. And whenever you are learning the scripting, you no need to learn too much deeper because you are not a developer or a programmer to learn 
complete python whatever is essential to run or use on the aws or azure cloud okay till that level these scripts would be sufficient or this scripting knowledge would be sufficient so this is what i would recommend if you have a career gap next thing is from non it to it if you are moving so it will be similar to aws plus devops plus one of the scripting so same thing you need to learn however if you are coming from non it to it you need to put little more efforts why i am saying that you have been already engaged with some jobs you might lost touch with the technology so that is the problem who is having career gap they might be doing one other course so they can able to understand the it infrastructure or some concepts which covered over here if you are coming from non it background you have that challenge so of course you need to put additional efforts comparatively any one of these other three segments so make sure that you have enough time to spend and also you are having that motivation to spend more time to learn this technology then only you can able to get it i don't say that it is impossible it is possible but comparatively other three segments it will be bit difficult so for you also i can say that you can go with the same thing aws plus devops plus scripting or else azure plus devops plus scripting and i would recommend to go with the certification it can be a cloud certification or else i can say that kubernetes certification which is a, which are having the good demand at this moment in the market and especially without kubernetes don't try to attend the interviews at all okay I, i can even emphasize on terraform also okay without these two technologies or uh, skills in your resume don't try to attend the interviews because in the current market terraform and kubernetes are must needed next thing come to the it to devops again uh, it is again uh, based on various factors however if you are already in the it and working on some technology for you okay logically to understand the devops could be very easy because you might have come across somewhere about these concepts because devops covers whole uh, most of the it department so if you are somewhere working okay you can easily correlate that what devops people are doing okay how you can uh, work with them or what the things they are doing so it's easy for you to understand and do this one so if you are coming from it to uh, devops then i can say that if you are from 0 to 6 years of it experience if you want to move so you can follow the same format and uh, if you are having 6 to 10 years of experience you need to add little more to the architecture knowledge apart from this because in devops okay so uh, this are this kind of learning or wherever institutes are teaching so it would be sufficient to to uh, four or five years of real time knowledge nothing but if somebody is working from past two years or from past five years how much experience they gain okay similar kind of knowledge you will gain over here but if you are already in it from past six to 10 years you need to show something extra to this one so you must do some additional courses for this one and uh, those courses could be architect related nothing but uh, how you can design the solutions okay next 10 to 15 years okay of course you can go with the architect or uh, uh, some consultant role so you need to uh, understand more deeper knowledge however if you want to learn more deeper knowledge it cannot come all, uh, all of sudden so you need to go with the same path because you are in the some other uh, technology now you are entering into the devops so you need to learn the cloud you need to learn the devops you need to learn the scripting but your understanding would be more faster comparatively other uh, segments and uh, don't think that okay i have this much experience in this one okay whatever i uh, earned uh, this experience i can say is it going to void trust me your experience never go wide so these people doesn't have any experience uh, in the it right so comparatively these three segments you can understand better about the technology and you you, you are going to be one of the quick learner uh, related to the technology okay so this is what i would like to share so quick recap so if you are a fresher you can learn any one of the cloud that could be aws or azure okay if it is a aws you can choose python plus r sorry python r shell r bash okay if you are choosing azure maybe you can go with the powershell 
if not then you can choose this one but uh, uh, this doesn't work i mean to say don't go with the uh, opposite i mean to say aws with powershell okay very rarely they can use next thing is if you are having a career gap or if you are someone moving from the non it to it okay in these two scenarios you can learn aws plus devops okay devops nothing but it is a generic devops like terraform you need to learn docker kubernetes okay this uh, you need to learn plus scripting language it could be python or shell scripting or else you can go with the azure plus devops okay devops nothing nothing but same tools plus shell scripting or python okay and over here if it is still you find that there is a gap then you can enter into the devops okay next at last if you are moving from the it to devops then in this case okay if you are having 0 to 6 years above plan will work if it is 6 to or 7 to 10 years okay you need to add some knowledge related to architect okay so if you are having uh, 10 to 15 years of experience or 10 plus i can say you should have the architect knowledge plus security and solution implementation okay so these are the advices however if you feel that okay this is kind of a generic information you need the uh, customization skill or customization advice based on uh, your experience or your need then you can check out the a form in the description of this video you can fill it out our team will reach out and they will help you that okay how you can talk with us for the career guidance so i can help you to discuss okay maybe in 30 minutes of call how i can guide you to uh, take the take your career to the next level that's all and thank you so much and uh, i hope i am going to discuss in the next video that okay if you are moving to the devops what are the technologies or what are the tools you need to focus more in 2024 that video is going to come up in the next so please stay tuned with our channel thank you and see you in the another interesting video